Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a preview to our Philadelphia Flyers facing the Washington Capitals. As the Flyers, of course, last game, a blue a lead to the Pittsburgh Penguins. If you want to check out that recap, uh, it's a couple videos back on my channel. I can also link it at the end of this video for you all to check out. But let's get right into it for the Flyers. They did bring up, according to Jordan Hall yesterday, a very good pe penalty killer cutting down the defensive lanes. Defensive whiz Maxime Shusko, who while doing that role, has also produced 11 points at the AHL level, at which is a nice added bonus. As of right now, it has him projected as one of the scratches. Um, obviously, whether I agree with that or not is something we could get into, but we'll save. Don't have to do that for this video. Um, but when it comes to the overall Flyers lines, it's going to be Oscar Lindblom, Claude Giroux, and Cam Atkinson from left wing to right wing. JVR, Lawden, Konechny from left wing to right wing for the second. Mayhew, Frost, Willman, Ratcliffe, Bunneman, and McEwen. So apparently Ratcliffe, who's playing really well, granted he's been sliding between third and fourth with either Willman or something. So I think that's just going to continue to adjust as Yo goes through the game. Um, Provorov, Braun, Sandheim, Sealer, Yandel, Kanaudin. So obviously the defensemen of Yandel, Sealer, Kanaudin, they're all still in the game uh, over just playing the young guys, even though we are playing the young guys in other facets. So again, tell me where that makes sense. But that's a that's a topic for a different time. In terms of overall play, the Flyers played much better in the second game against Detroit, obviously, and then played well in the Pittsburgh game until they just crapped the bed in and fell apart in the end. So they've been pr progressing, I guess is the right word to say. Do I personally think in the end Mike Yo is going to be the answer at head coach here? No, I don't, because I actually think Lappy, when it comes to the AHL level, has started to, after he's figured out from being a player relations and development guy, and really has got it going in December with the Phantoms, has produced at a really good level uh, for them in terms of a coach, and the Phantoms have been significantly better um, since December. And then Kirk McDonald for the Royals is great at developing people, so... I think the Flyers' best bet for a head coach would be to go with a more offensive mindset guy or that can pull the most out of these guys that we haven't seen the most from yet in the Morgan Frost of the world. Wilman's filled a role at the NHL level, but we know has more offense from his AHL days. Ratcliffe has been doing really good, but I think even with an offensive-minded coach, he can do better You, if we keep TK. He can get the 24-goal TK back. Like, I think, like, somebody like uh, Noblah, um, with the um, <clears throat> Hartford Wolfpack, obviously, his experience here. He's an offensive mind. There's other AHL coaches uh, that I can get into. But if you guys want a video on that, let me know. And I can get into guys. But I'm probably going to do that later in the season. But that that would interest me from the AHL level and as a whole. That I think are just more offensive-minded head coaches. That would help this team. And then you can just bring in guys like the Mike Stalthers of the world. He's not going to leave Anaheim. But those types of head coaches that are just defensive whizzes. That can be with the good offensive mind. That really can help push the pace. And let these guys kind of be free. Uh, be loose like St. Louis kind of said in this press conference and like Jay Woodcroft let Bakersfield play and is now going to let Edmonton Oilers play. So I think we kind of need coaches uh, similar to that. But for now, we have Mike Yo at the helm. No necessarily always agree with the lines he puts out. Um, I think we should be letting more of the young guys play and they should be called up. So part of that's also on Chuck Fletcher, but it is what it is. These are the lines we have going out uh, tonight. I really like how Ratcliffe's been playing. I really like how Mayhew's been bringing a shooting presence to the bottom six. So I think if that can continue, the Flyers are going to continue to play better in these games like they did in the second Detroit game and like they did against Pittsburgh. The only problem here is, even while playing better, second Detroit game, they still lost in the second game against Detroit, um, which was the one in Detroit, and then they still lost in Pittsburgh at PPG Paints, even though they played a good game as a whole, and then just blew it in the end, so I'm not predicting a win like I've said with this team before, that's just not going to happen at this point, but do I think they're maybe continue to play better in losing efforts and be more competitive? Yeah, that's that's some solace to see these guys play well. I want to keep seeing the Ratcliffs, keep seeing the Mayhew, keep seeing if Shushko gets in. Those guys continue to perform well. The Wilmans of the world, Konechny, try to get going. Uh, Lindblom starting to really get uh, his strength and everything back, and that's great to see. So obviously you want to see that continue to get going. But you also want to see that in more facets, which I don't get why we're not just letting most of the young guys play over the Canons, over the Sealers of the world, and etc. But 
it is what it is. Martin Jones is going to be in goal tonight, by the way. Uh, when it comes to the Capitals, uh, before I go, um, their lines are going to be as our Philadelphia Flyers. Again, like I said, hopefully the guys that I mentioned in this video just keep performing at a high level, keep progressing, because that's where we're at at this point. We're not going to do anything this season. It's just about seeing the guys we want to see progress. Like I mentioned, the Mayhews, Woolmans, if Shusko gets put in, when guys get caught up in the Zamores, Yorks, and even Wileys of the world, you want to see them progressing to be guys that you think will be on the team next year, which we're starting to see, especially with the Raddies of the world. Uh, in his first uh, five or six games, it'll be a six tonight. So in the Wilmans of the world, that if you get a more offensive-minded coach, I think that'll even help. And then they'll also help TK get back. But um, that, that's really all we can have this year, just guys getting back to their groove and guys coming up and getting into a groove at the NHL level because obviously the Flyers ain't going anywhere this year. But um, we have Alexander Ovechkin, Kuznetsov Shiri, Joe Snively, who <clears throat> is a very good former Hershey Bear and is now doing good um, with the... Um, with the uh, Washington Capitals, Nicholas Backstrom and Tom Wilson finishes out that line. You got Connor McMichael, Lars Eller, and Brett Leeson, another young kid, a big kid that's a good net front presence in Brett Leeson, a six four two ten. And then you got Carl Hagelin, Nick Dowd, and Garnett Hathaway. They have a very good fourth line, 12, 13, and 16 points on that fourth line. Uh, hit the body really well. Hagelin is a fast guy on that line. Dowd is a good face-off guy that's great at defense, and Garnett Hathaway is really a great take-the-body guy that provides a fourth line net front presence role, uh, where Brett Leeson is basically the <clears throat> what the younger version of that that probably in, in the end might add a little bit more offensive uptick. Uh, than Garnett Hathaway has throughout his career, who's usually more of an 8 to 10 whatever goal guy, or which he's at 8 this year, having a career year, so good for him. Morning Fiervari, John Carlson is their defensive line with Dimitri Orlov, Nick Jensen, then it's Michael Kempe and TVR. According to this, it has Daniel Sprong as a scratch, and uh, Ilya Samsonov as the goaltender listed on top, which would usually mean he's the guy that's good to get the nod. Um, so I would go with him getting the nod. So that's the lines for each team. Did the Flyers explain how I think the Flyers have been doing and how we just need to see certain guys continue to perform, and that's all we can look for in this season at this point. Those are the Capitals' lines for you. Hopefully we continue to perform better. I still am not going to predict a win for this team because it hasn't – it's just not – it hasn't come there, so we're not going to do game predictions like that anymore, but – I like doing these previews just to give overall thoughts on the team and thoughts on guys like the Ratcliffs of the world and like the um, Wilmans of the world, um, and etc. Obviously, Claude Drew's been doing great through it all, and the Limblums that are starting to really get going. The guys that threw it all are still playing great. It's nice to highlight them in these uh, previews and also highlight how at least we're doing a wee bit better but still losing in the end like we did in the second game against Detroit and in the game against Pittsburgh. Hopefully that at least continues the better play tonight and maybe we can actually get a win in the end. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and please subscribe down below or above them. These use widgets to keep us grown at 200 by the end of February.